All right, so a few vlogs ago, we told you guys we had some big news to share with you. Up to now, we've kind of held back. We haven't unveiled anything. So Jenny, would you say now is as good a time as any to let everyone know what's been going on? <laughs> I sure hope so. We've been thinking about it a lot. And yeah, I think today is the best time and the perfect time to announce it. All right, so without further ado, Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so awkward for us. We're not very used to like sharing very, very personal information from our lives with like everyone else. Um, we've been married <laughs> for a few weeks now and some of our close friends already know about it. Family and friends. So today we decided to finally share it with you guys because, um, you know, you've been with us for over a year now and... Um, oh, speaking of which, Jenny, today is actually oh, our one year... announcement! <laughs> <laughs> today is actually our one year vlog anniversary. Oh, wow! Yes, and now it's been almost 200 vlog episodes since. Wow, so 200 plus episodes in 365 days. <laughs> I guess, you know, now is as a fitting time as any to share this big news with you guys. And one main reason we want to share it now is, you know, with a real life journey and story, sometimes after big events, you know, it is also a good time for like reflection. Yeah. And for planning, like, okay, now that we have gone ahead and done this, what are like the next steps, um, you know, in our journey and our lives together. So, you know, with vlogging to be perfectly honest and, you know, real with everyone, like we love it, we enjoy it. But I mean, at the end of the day as well, it doesn't actually bring in like huge amounts of money, at least for us. You know, the people who have been able to crack the code and, you know, monetize their vlogs and are able to make a good amount of money to sustain like their living and lifestyle you know props yeah. and kudos to you guys because after doing it for one year we know it's really not easy at all yeah it's very difficult um well especially i think especially for the type of personalities we have because we are mostly introverts <laughs> i think that doesn't help at least the person watching this already is kind of familiar with our flow and style yeah. so thank you guys for all the support because we know you know we're probably not the easiest vlog to watch <laughs> <laughs> like you know for example of course we've thought of like vlogging for example the day jay proposed to me and that's like a very very special day and like you know those kind of vlogs always gets like the views and always gets the the comments and all uh, the, you know the traction but then um for the type of personality we have like we're not very comfortable you know sharing those events in our life yeah and i think um it's okay and that's one reason we're airing it is to show like even if you're a vlogger and you wear the vlogger hat um you can still be like authentic and yeah. true to yourself so for example even if you know something like that with a lot of hoopla and festivities could get more traction and views like we know ourselves well enough i know jenny would have preferred something more low-key under the radar and that's yes. something, you know, that fits more along my personality as well. Anyways, with all that said, moving forward, it's going to be a very exciting time, of course. We're just getting adapted to, you know, this whole thing <laughs> called marriage life. <laughs> I'm not still used to um, calling him husband or me, like, married woman. Like, I don't know if I'll ever get used to it. <laughs> well, my favorite thing now is to joke with uh, Jenny and say, Kuya is your brother now. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> all that said I want to share this part with you guys because it's kind of revealing our thought process and someone watching this it might resonate with you maybe you're in the same boat as we are and I'll just speak for myself I'm someone who's obviously not young anymore but I think I'm not still so old that I can't adapt to like new changes like drastic changes in my life both like you know the mind and the body and things like that so you know, speaking with Jenny, all right, so now we're married, what do we do moving forward? I think vlogging is always going to be something we would like to do 
kind of more as a, like a hobby. Yeah. Um, but realistically speaking, in this day and age, in this world we live in now, with rampant inflation going bananas, you know, Jenny and I, I think we're at the point where we should put some more emphasis and priority on making money. Yeah. Well, of course, like you know. With marriage, um, it's impossible not to think about having kids. Of course, we've thought about that, and um, we're not closing our doors. Um, mm. Maybe we want kids, maybe we don't want kids. But if ever, like in the future, we decided to have kids, um, we realize that what we have right now, what we're doing right now, can't support another human being. <laughs> That's just an honest. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, for the amount of uh, blood, sweat, tears, effort, work you yeah. put in, of course, like, um, you know, it would help a lot, right, to have the financial yeah. income, revenue coming in. And, you know, to be honest, like, we don't have that. And um, it's pretty tough to make it, you know, just as pure of loggers, right? So financial stability is something definitely on the forefront of our minds. And anyone watching this, I know, you know, you can totally understand where we're coming from. So with that said, I think it's a natural segue to, uh, you know, look for outside work, right? Yeah. So one thing I tried to do recently anyway is I applied to a local like company here. Oh, yeah. And that's for an engineering role, which I'm very familiar with. You know, I did it for like almost 10 years, right? So it's something I definitely think I could handle. Well, um, I haven't heard anything back from them. And I <laughs> Should probably... Should I mention their company? So uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually expect to hear back from them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's something interesting as well. When these type of companies like, you know, in the Philippines, if they receive resumes from somebody who, let's say, worked in industry for a long time in a different country, I actually don't know how they perceive it. Is it a positive? Is it a negative? Is it an instant rejection? Yeah. Um, you know, it's kind of, I would imagine, not very common, right? So in any case, um, I just wanted to kind of get into that mindset again, like applying, looking for a job. I've actually started to do like, uh, you know, more studying, you know, back into like the stuff that I used to do. And, you know, with that said, that, you know, ties into this very possible scenario where Jenny and I might actually move back to the States if we're able to and we have that opportunity. Yeah. So in the past weeks after we got married, so as Jay mentioned, he's been studying a lot like, oh my God, guys, like a lot of numbers, a lot of lines that I don't understand, but he seems to be enjoying it. So like, you know, I, I'm just here to like, you know, support him, whatever he wants. And um, of course, we've been uh, checking out options on how I can go to the US because of course, um, if there are Filipinos watching out there, you know how hard it is to enter to enter their country <laughs> without a specific visa. So we've been checking out our options, and um, yeah, we we have something that we are waiting, and I hope it's like positive. But for sure, we're gonna share it with you guys in our future vlogs. Yeah, so. right now what we're trying to do is we applied for both an I one thirty, so that's like a. It's, it's I, I guess the easier term to say is like, it's like a spouse visa. Yes. Right? Um, they have a more official term for it, but it doesn't sound anything like that. Yeah. And that process can take anywhere between 12 to 14 months. So a really, shocked. really long time. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people watching this probably understand what we're talking about and have been in the same boat. So if that process takes so long, I think what a lot of you know married couples want to do is they also, in parallel, they want to start uh, a tourist visa. Yeah, because so far right now, tourist visa is like the easiest entry. So yeah, we are hoping that we can get through the uh, the tourist visa while we are waiting for our spouse visa. Yeah, and with that said, um, by no means does it you know reflect on our experience here in BGC or the Philippines. We actually still really love this place. Oh yeah. We still want to make it our home long term. But I think we just kind of reach a crossroads where the emphasis now has to be more on making money. Yeah. Yeah, we tried the vlogging thing for a good year. Um, absolutely no regrets. It was oh, an yeah. amazing, amazing experience. We met so many wonderful people. You know, again, thank you guys for all the support. And by no means are we like giving up entirely, but 
as we mentioned earlier, I think for us anyway, vlogging fits more as kind of a hobby thing. Yeah. Um, you know, given our personalities and kind of where we are like financially. So I think right now, again, we want to focus on looking for ways to make money. And naturally, I think the path of like least resistance would be to like go back to the States. And I think it segues nicely as well. Jenny has never been to America. She's never been to California. She's never seen like the home I grew up in, the neighborhood, the schools, all that stuff. Yeah. You know, I always talk about like all this like food that I really crave or enjoy back in the States, you know, like Mexican food, Vietnamese food, you know, Thai food, all that stuff. So in that sense, you know, it's really exciting as well. Like I can share this whole new world with Jenny. I think more of it is I have to check if Jay is legit. <laughs> Maybe he was just lying to me. He already has like three wives. <laughs> oh, just kidding. No, I'm just like really excited to, you know, visit his hometown. Yeah, and you know, we always want to, you know, be optimistic. We want to, you know, see the sunshine. Like, you know, life can be really chaotic and uncertain, right? Yeah. Like, I can't say when I moved back to the Philippines, bought like condos here and all that, like I expected to like reroute my life, go back to the States, look for a job, all that stuff. Um, but I think, you know, that's also part of the uh, excitement of like real everyday life. We're not like the type of people that have it made from like vlogging, right? We don't have like um, a trust fund, you know, we're not like... <laughs> I hope we have. <laughs> We're, we're, I wish we have a trust We're not fund. that lucky or fortunate, you know, like, you know, like most people I think watching this can respect, like, you have to earn your own way. You have to hustle. You have to hustle, you have to work hard and like, you know, like, we have done some things here in uh, BGC, you know, and uh, we're just grateful for that, you know, grateful for the time, the experiences and all that. It's not like saying this is the end like for good. It's more of like a just kind of a pause. Yeah. We always like, you know, talk like, yeah, let's just experience life together. We're still like kind of young, right? And make money while, do, while experiencing life. Like, you know, why not do it in parallel? And, you know, like, again, just remaining optimistic. It would be so fun, I think, to and hopefully we can vlog some of this content if we do make it out to the States. Yeah. Uh, nothing is definitive at this point, by the way. Um, you know, just to get Jenny's reactions, like, you know, <laughs> this is Filipino food in America. Like, how does this sisi compare? How is this sinigang? Like, does it taste authentic? Yeah. You know, how do people talk? You know, you'll hear, like, conversations in, like, you know, Filipino in Tagalog or Visayan. You'll be thinking, like, oh, that reminds me of home, but how is it different, right? I'm sure there's probably going to be more taglish than ever <laughs> out in the States, but, um, you know, those type of things and uh, the people we come across, hopefully we can, you know, document some of that for you guys. Uh, again, if should we make it out to the States? And we'll probably show you the, uh, the struggle along the way as well, right? Because if yeah. we go back there, it's essentially starting from scratch all over again. Yeah. So... Well, I'm glad that we are sharing this with you. Um, if you have like any suggestions or maybe like stuff we have to like do first or try first, like while waiting for, for you know, our visa and all. Yeah, and also on the topic of getting married in the Philippines, I think that's also a very wonderful topic. Yeah. And one I hope we can capture and cover in more details in a future vlog because the process is definitely involved and I think maybe Ooh. intentionally so. They want to make sure that we're like really sure, you know, before you go through with it. Because, uh, you know, when you talk to people in the States, they're like, oh, like, isn't it really simple and straightforward? Don't you just need like an ID and, you know, you can I get know. it done in one day? Nope, not at all in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, very long process. There's a million documents that you need. And if you're a foreigner like me, you have to sign like affidavits and get it notarized and you know, just a lot of stuff. So hopefully we can cover that in more details because I'm sure it would help a lot of people out. And with that said, there's one, you know, huge benefit as well for foreigners, by the way, if you uh, marry <laughs> I Filipino. Think this, is, this is the only reason why Jay went through the marriage. He can't stop saying this. <laughs> There's something called a Balik Bayan visa, right? So you have to travel with your spouse, but if you arrive, you know, to the Philippines airport together, um, you can actually get a one year um, stay, like without having to like renew your visa, you know, like the whole lengthy process when you get like a tourist visa. 
if you have a spouse, one year, like straight, but then I think after that you have to like leave the country. And this Balik Bayan visa is only valid if you arrive at the airport with your spouse, you know, together. If you arrive by yourself, I'm sorry, you're back on the tourist visa. <laughs> so I told Jay, okay, I'll give you a 50% discount. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to take this opportunity to thank our family and friends who were with us during the, the whole intimate process. So I'm telling you guys, the ceremony we had was um, very intimate and um, I am very glad that we did it that way because that's how it I actually pursued my wedding. I don't know about Jane, or just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a, a very basic civil wedding, um, you know, minimal guest. And yes. Yeah, I think it's everything we both wanted. Again, you know, this we're just very low key people. Yeah. So that's just like being totally honest about it. You know, a lot of people watching this might not even understand where we're coming from. But we don't like flash and grand things. Like we're just really low key. We've always tried to vlog that way, and if that resonates with viewers, you know, who maybe uh, can relate, then that's awesome because uh, we never tried to fake anything. Yeah. So we'll try to share some pictures and maybe uh, clips from the ceremony. <laughs> so as a proof that it really happened. <laughs> just kidding. And with all that said, thank you guys for your amazing support through the one year journey so far of BGC Dreams. I think big changes lie ahead. So, you know, hopefully we can find a way to navigate through it successfully and whatever we learn along the way, you know, hopefully we can share that with you guys. Yeah. And hopefully you'll keep tuning in and watching vlogs. Um, we can't promise and say we'll be doing it, you know, regularly or, you know, very actively. But, you know, hopefully from time to time, uh, once we get our life kind of figured out, we'll still be able to release content for you. Yes. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for those viewers who notice. Oh, yes. <laughs> we are reading your comments from the engagement to the weddings. Yeah, there's just some people that just have an eye for, you know, subtle details. details. <laughs> yeah. So shout out to you, Amalia. And <laughs> we appreciate all the uh, awesome support. Yes. So. Again, thank you so much, guys. And I guess... Until we... the next episode. Ingat po kayo. Peace. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> All right. That's okay. not perfect. But... Yeah, it's not perfect, but um, well, it's it's as raw as. <laughs>